Hi guys, my name is Fankita. In this video, we shall see another problem on it called flipping an image. Given an n cross n binary matrix, flip the image horizontally and then invert it and then return the resulting image. So, to flip the image horizontally means that each row of the image is reversed. So, if the row is 1, 0, 0, then horizontally results in 0, 0, 1. So, inverting that. Then, inverting the image means you are reversing the uh, elements in the row. Then inverting the image means each 0 is replaced by 1 and 1 is replaced by 0. For example, inverting 0, 0, 1 results in 1, 0, 0. So, let's say they have given an array 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So, initially you have to horizontally flip it, right? How do we do? Each row the element get reverts. So 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 becomes 0, 1, 1. Then 0, 1, 1 becomes 1, 1, 0. Reverse it. Then 0, 1, 0 becomes 0, 1, 0 itself. Then reverse. So there is horizontal slipping. Then for reversing it, how do we do? For reversing, all the zeros will be replaced by 1 and 1 will be replaced by 0. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1 and 1, 0, 1. So this should be the result in R. So what is the approach to solve this problem? Uh, let's name the row 0, 1, 2 and 0, 1, 2. So however, we need two follows for any matrix kind of question. So first follow, you can see here, uh, when we are, uh, for inverting the image, it's very easy from horizontal, uh, after doing the horizontal reversing and then inverting the image is very easy. You put two for loops and you check whether the element is equal to equal to 1. If it is equal to 1, make them to 0. Else make it to, if it is equal to equal to 0, you make it to 1. So that is one thing. So this part is very easy. But coming to this horizontal part, how do we solve the problem? You could see the middle row. remain same. Uh, basically, if I take an example of, um, let's say, the arrays of 4 cross 4 matrix, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 0, 0, 1, 0. Then in this case, we have to flip these two. The last two rows. First and last rows and then next middle rows. In this case, what do we do? You sleep these two, zero and last, and the middle one will be flipped to that itself. That is what operation happened here. So you can uh, closely, if you observe, you can divide this. You can divide like this. So if n is equal to equal to let's say length minus one, that means in this case it will be zero, one, two. 3 and here it is 0, 1, 2, 3. So length minus 1 will be equal to 3. So until j, uh, this is the i, i in two follows of uh, however we have. So our i or j. So if we take the column, half of the column that is j less than equal to n by 2. 3 by 2, what do we get? 1.5 that will be now of off to 1. Here in this case, 0, 1, 2, 2 by 2 will be 1. So the middle row will be there, but in that middle row, you have both, uh, you, are, you will do the self reversing. So it doesn't matter. Here in this case, we have the middle row. You have to replace with the further rows. So now we count to know I, I loop will start from uh, all the rows, i lesser than or equal to n. But for j loop, j will be lesser than or equal to n by 2. Because we need to flip these elements with the remaining half elements. That's right. So if we take the first element, we have to replace with this element, right? So how do we do that? If you see the position, this is nothing but 0 and 0. 0, 0 gets replaced with 0 and 3. Then coming to this next one, 0 and here 1. 
This is zero one position is getting replaced with zero two position. So zero one position is getting with replaced with zero two position. So what is actually happening is the i is remaining constant. I is constant here. I doesn't change. Same rule for each row. It is okay. If it is uh, second row, then it will be two. Uh, uh, first row it will be one one. Second row it will be two two. Uh, third row it will be three three. I doesn't change. I is constant. But if you see the columns, that is changing here actually. So column is changing from zero to three means three is nothing but n here minus j. So three minus zero. Next n will be three minus one. That is two, right? So from j position to n minus j position, it is changing. Got it? So whole length minus that j position. So here in this case, uh, j is uh, zero, which was replaced by n minus j. That is three minus zero. That would fetch you three. It's coming to this one. J was one. So replace n minus j. So three minus one is nothing but two. Basically, you are just subtracting the j value from the entire uh, row length. If you observe in this example, zero portion should be replaced by two row. So j is zero column. So n minus j will be two minus zero. That is two. Two portion is replaced. But if you come to one here, so j is one. N minus J, that is two minus one. That will be one itself. So self reversing it will happen. So this is approach to solve the problem. So in summary, what I need to say is reversing is very easy. Inverting the matrix is very easy. You just check whether the limit is equal to one, then you replace it with zero, or else uh, if it is equal to zero, then replace it to one. That is fine. But this Hausen point part, what we do is. I is all the rows you have to travel, but for the J, only half of the matrix, half of the columns of the matrix you need to travel. That's why you give condition uh, J less than equal to n by two. And for flipping this, you flip the J with n minus J value, means from the J value, from the in the matrix, you entire row length minus that J length, you subtract and uh, you initialize the values. And how do we do this replacing? Temp. We will have initially temp. Let's say we will store uh, image of zero comma zero in this. So once you store this, now you replace this with the replacing value. So image of zero comma zero is equal to image of zero comma n minus j. N minus j is nothing but n is 3, 3 minus 0 is 3. Next image of, now we place this with the temp value, which, which we store this value in the temp. So image of 0, 3 equal to temp. Okay, we will code this. So let's have length int n equal to image dot length minus 1. Why minus 1? So we are having zero index, right? So it will be easier to calculate all these things. Now first we will do the horizontal reversing. So for that or in i equal to zero, i lesser than or equal to n. Why equal to n? Because I have taken image dot length minus one as well and i plus plus. Then I all the rows we have traversed, but for columns only half of the columns and the matrix we have traversed. So for J uh, in J equal to zero, J less than or equal to n P two and J plus plus. Now initial is temp in temp equal to that value that is image of I comma J. Next image of i comma j will be equal to image of i, but j will be nothing but n minus j now. We are replacing it. Next image of i comma n minus j is equal to 10. Fine. So from this we do the reversing. So after reversing is done, now inversion. 
the following motion again for in i equal to 0 i lesser than equal to n and i plus plus then for in j equal to 0 j lesser than equal to n and j plus plus check if image of i comma j is equal to equal to 0 then replace image of i comma j equal to 1 otherwise it is it was 1 we have to replace it to 0 so image of i comma j will be equal to 0 so at last just return the image that is matrix itself okay Yeah, it's been successfully submitted. If you have any doubts, please drop it in the comment section. We'll come up with another video next session. Until then, please subscribe to the channel and keep learning. Thank you.